Well, we have some great things to talk about, everyone. As you might know, the ATTD Diabetes Tech Conference has just finished, and we were expecting a bunch of updates, a bunch of announcements, and we have some great new details about the G7 from Dexcom. Now, I don't want this video to be clickbaity. Dexcom G7 is still in development. We don't know exactly when it is launching. The thing that you saw on the thumbnail is the same thing I showed you a couple of weeks ago. It's my G7 uh, mock-up that I've built to give you a size idea of the G7. So, to put things into context, it's coming. And we basically now know everything there is to know about it. So in this video, I am breaking down everything that you need to know about the upcoming Dexcom G7. Hello, it's Camille, Notabetic, your diabetes tech guy. If you are new here and want more diabetes technology videos, make sure you're subscribed and have the notifications turned on to catch my... Oh, Amazon is coming, I'll be back. <laughs> Including this year's extensive coverage of ATTD, I've already published a bunch of videos, including Medtronic's approval of the brand new no calibration CGM, the Guardian 4, you can watch that video up here. And I've got more ATTD videos coming up soon, so make sure you catch that. So let's start from the beginning. Dexcom G7 is arguably the biggest jump generation to generation in Dexcom's history because they completely changing the form factor, it's all in one design. This is where the transmitter is built into the sensor, similar to how Freestyle Libre works. The sensor itself is 60% smaller when compared to G6, which is great news in terms of the size. And this is the mock-up that I've mentioned in the intro, which compares G7 to the G6. Beyond size, it should be approved for arm and belly, just like Dexcom G6 is in many places all over the world today. During this year's ATTD, we learned that G7's warmer period is only 30 minutes. That's half an hour. And when I heard Jake, the chief technology officer, say this, this was my reaction. Okay, Dexcom G7, with 30 minute warm-up time, say what? Say what? 30 minutes is just completely mind-blowing to me. It is completely changing the game. Having a 30 minute warm-up time, it's just like not having a warm-up time. I mean, I feel like it takes me longer to cook breakfast. I mean, it's just insane. It's a massive reduction compared to G6's two hour warm-up time. I don't know how about you, but as a Dexcom G6 users since the day they launched in the UK. There have been a number of occasions where the first reading that I had after the two hour warm up period was nowhere near where I thought it would be because two hours is a pretty long period of time. And you know, when you eat or whatever happens, you know, diabetes, um, it, it can often lead to some really crazy things. So 30 minutes is going to reduce that dramatically. Another thing that we learned about G7 during this year's ATTD is G7's accuracy, which is excellent. We measure accuracy using MART. Remember, smaller number means more accurate. And Dexcom's G7 MART is 8.7%, which is even better than Dexcom's G6 9%. When talking about accuracy, we usually only focus on MART, but reliability is also critical. And just look at this data. Look how essentially every G7 performs incredibly. Now, this graph is exactly why every pump company wants to work with Dexcom. Their sensor reliability is just mind-blowing. You might remember my hybrid closed loops diagram, which I've designed during one of the national lockdowns here in the UK. And if you do, the connection through Dexcom are just everywhere. And this is exactly the reason. By the way, if you want to learn more about hybrid closed loop systems, I've done a video explaining all 10 hybrid closed loop systems based on that diagram. You can, you can watch it up here. Of course, Dexcom G7 will retain G6's ICGM classification, so it can be connected with all of those hybrid closed loop systems, including Omnipod 5 and 
diaper loop. G7 will also include a simple one-click applicator as it's all built into one. At ATTD we also learned that it will be more eco-friendly with the packaging reduced by 67% and as it's all in one fully disposable. Now for this one let's see how it actually works out in the real world but it does sound like they really trying to address the environmental uh, considerations of, of using continuous glucose monitors. Now interestingly they have only described it as a 10-day sensor and there was no word about the previously mentioned extension to 14 days or 15 days so I guess we will need to wait and see how that plays out. Now the big news of ATTD. Something that we have been talking about that I have been talking about for years. Something that has been pushed back and pushed back and extension after extension, you know, you know, the Brexit of diabetes technology world, of course I'm talking about direct to watch, which is coming to G7. When Jake mentioned this, this was my live reaction. Direct to watch coming with G7 at launch. Say what? I'm like, so, so pumped. So like I mentioned in my recent Apple Watch apps for people living with diabetes, a video which is linked up here, direct to watch is the ability of connecting devices directly to the Apple Watch. Currently, the only diabetes tech product which has this is the one drop blood glucose meter. So you can take this meter with you, leave your iPhone at home and it connects to the watch directly. Now, this is coming to Dexcom. Just to recap, this is the feature where you can leave your iPhone at home and your G7 connects directly to the watch and shows your blood glucose level, trend, history and all alerts. Another thing that I wanted to mention from this year's ATTD is the Siri integration with the G6 and during the conference Dexcom highlighted how I mean, I don't want to overuse this word, but truly life-changing this feature is for legally blind people with diabetes. Having a disability should not stop anyone from using diabetes technology or any technology. And I think this area is absolutely critical and I really hope that more companies will integrate things like Siri, voiceover and other accessibility features into their platforms because this is work that should have been done years ago and uh, it just seems like diabetes tech is playing catch up to the mainstream technology companies. Speaking of Hey Siri, Dexcom also mentioned that Hey Siri integration to the G6 is coming to international markets soon. So that's the upcoming G7. Just to recap, G7 is a complete redesign with the transmitter built into the sensor. Dexcom first ever all-in-one CGM. It's a 10-day sensor with a groundbreaking 30-minute warm-up time, 60% smaller volume, 67% smaller packaging, direct-to-watch capabilities, personalized insights in the app, and a lot more. So when can we get Dexcom G7? Well, I'm not going to make any predictions. This is one of those videos where I talk about what's coming up down the pipeline and I want you to get excited about it, but I also want you to realize that this is not coming tomorrow, okay? This is a regulated space, so it might take a while. Late 2021 is the most appropriate estimation to make at this point of everything happening with the pandemic globally. You know, any timeline that I say or anyone says is, is truly a guess. If there are any updates or concrete information about the timelines, I will post them as a comment and pin them at the top of the comment box. So stay tuned for that. Or if there are any more updates, I will of course do another video to make sure you are up to date on all the latest info. So that's everything that you need to know about Dexcom G7. I hope you enjoyed this video. Like I mentioned, I've got a bunch of videos about ATTD. Metronic's new sensor, I've of course got more videos which I'm working on right now which you should be seeing within the next week or two so make sure you subscribe to catch that including uh, Metronic's future pipeline, we've learned a lot about what Metronic is up to as well with their phone control and more so stay tuned for that. So I will see you soon, take care, I hope you're safe, stay kind, bye!